Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, some noticeable changes over the next couple of days. That includes increasing the moisture in the atmosphere and at times uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms. So this little mini stretch of dry weather coming to an end as we check out live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar and tracking essentially just clouds coming in along with higher humidity. But as far as any widespread rain, we don't see any though seeing at least little hints of some sprinkles developing across the Connecticut River Valley. So much later tonight and towards daybreak tomorrow, uh, getting at least some scattered showers working in here as the dew point goes up. Very simple when we talk about dew point. Lower the number, the drier the air. The higher the number, the more humidity in the atmosphere. Dew point was quite low today and refreshing. Boy, it really spikes overnight into Thursday and Friday in the humid to very humid category. And this high humidity will help to fuel some of these showers and thunderstorms that come through. So dry for now. How it plays out as far as the precipitation for tomorrow, I think it's it's more scattered. I don't. It doesn't look it look like an all day kind of a thing where it's just raining nonstop. There'll be lulls as well, and even a little partial sunshine despite some extra clouds. Certainly not as blue the skies as what we had today. I think the, the showers and thunderstorms on Friday should be more generous, a little heavier. That includes the thunder as well. Temperatures on Friday in the lower 80s. So clouds are streaming in, but no precipitation in Providence. Temperature at 67. Newport mid 60s and New Bedford now coming in at 60 degrees. Most areas in the 60s. It'll stay in the 60s all night long. So not nearly as cool and autumn like as the last uh, several nights. In fact, westerly is still at 69 degrees. Here's the wider view. You see the canopy of clouds working in. It's all associated with a combination warm and cool front approaching the area. You see showers and thunderstorms off to our south and west south of New York City. A little piece of this coming through for tomorrow morning. Then additional showers will try to form tomorrow afternoon, but in between there'll be opportunities to sneak outside for an hour or two, then another shower comes by, that kind of a deal. Future cast at 11 o'clock tonight shows the clouds working in, so by 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, cloudy skies, and notice we're not painting the entire area green, which would represent widespread rain, but rather passing showers every now and then. Here we are at noontime with mainly cloudy skies and occasional shower. Any sunshine would be partial, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, mainly cloudy and humid right on through tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. So for this evening, we're dry for now. Scattered showers arriving towards daybreak in the mid-60s, both tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. The risk of a passing shower or thunderstorm, 73 in the morning, upper 70s by tomorrow afternoon. The showers more generous, a little heavier on Friday. Better chance for thunder at 82. It dries out. It does improve for the weekend after an early morning shower on Saturday. Drying out, clearing out Saturday afternoon. Sunday looking real nice with mainly sunny skies and low humidity and daytime highs around 82 and nights in the 60s. So unsettled next uh, couple of days. We'll get back on track, though, just in time for the weekend. So good timing there. Sounds good, Tony. Yeah. Coming up next.